In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature that's available in version 2.5 of Digital Photo Finalizer. Digital Photo Finalizer is a piece of software that automatically analyzes and improves the way that your digital photos look. You can download Digital Photo Finalizer from www.srs1software.com. The new feature that I'm going to show is the dark and light area adjustment. This feature, uh, shown here on the dark light areas tab uh, of the software, lets you separately adjust the dark areas of your image without affecting the rest of your image, uh, and lets you uh, adjust the light areas of your image without adjusting, uh, affecting the rest of your image. Uh, these uh, features are particularly good for fixing poorly exposed images or backlit images. And one other thing about this new feature is that it's part of the light edition of the software, so it's always free to use, and uh, uh, it always is enabled in the software. So let me open up uh, some sample images. Okay, in this first image, this is a typical image where you would want to use the dark area adjustment. The overall image is fairly bright, but in the foreground, the camera has underexposed the image. And it did that because the rest of the image is so bright. But you do want to see some details in the foreground here, some of the uh, uh, the area of the porch and, and the uh, and the bushes uh, and so forth. So in order to do that, the dark area adjustment you can uh, if you slide it over to the right, then you'll get more detail in the dark areas of your image. If you slide it over to the left, then you get more contrast and consequently less detail possibly in the dark areas of your image. But let's slide it to the right in this case and you see that that has a big effect on brightening up the shadows and, and, and bringing in a lot more details, making more details visible. So this kind of an adjustment also would be very useful for a backlit image. If you take a picture of someone and the sun is behind them then their face can sort of be in the shadows and you might want to brighten up that those that area so that you can see the person's face and, and this is another uh, adjustment that would be uh, very good for, for that kind of a case. Uh, let me hit reset there and I'll go on to the next image. This is an image where you would want to adjust the light part of the image. In this case this is obviously an ice skating rink. The ice part of the image is pretty bright and a little bit overexposed. You can't see a lot of details there. If I'm going to slide this over the light area adjustment over to the right to try and get more detail, uh, more details visible in the light areas. And I mean there aren't a whole lot of details to see, but you do see now shadows and things like that that you just didn't see before. And if I hit reset, you see that uh, you can't see that detail as much now. Now uh, let me go to the next image here. This uh, looks like a pretty good image, uh, fairly well exposed, but if I want to get some more detail in the sky there, I'm going to move this light area adjustment over to the right. I'll do that right now. And you notice that this makes uh, a lot more detail visible in the sky. You can It differentiates the clouds from the blue sky, and you can see a lot more. Now, you can since you can see the original and the final image, you can, you can adjust how much of that uh, light area adjustment is optimum what looks best for the image and and you can adjust it the amount that you want. Uh, last I'm going to reset this. This is a kind of a well exposed image. Uh, I'm just showing you this because I wanted to prove a point that moving these controls the dark and light area adjustment it helps poorly exposed images and, and other images but it doesn't necessarily make all images look better. In this case, if I move the dark area adjustment all the way to the right, it makes the image look worse. So, you know, you only want to use this when you really need to. And but you know, you can always see what the original and the final images look like, so you can always judge what uh, you know, what the effect of the dark or light uh, area adjustment uh, are on your image. But you probably won't would want to use this most on backlit images and on images uh, that are not 100% totally well exposed by your camera. So that's really what I wanted to show. Um, again, this dark light area adjustment 
feature. These features are all part of the light edition of the software, so they're always free to use. Um, you can download the software again from www.srs1software.com. That's SRS, the number one, software.com. And uh, we hope you enjoy using the software. Thank you.